All right, this is supposedly one of the highest climbs in this area. And for all the time I've been riding my bike, this has been like all grown up with weeds. I don't know if the gate had been open or not, but I'm gonna just take a little short walk up here and see what it looks like. I know that I can't climb it on my bike. I mean, I'm, I've done some pretty good climbs, but I know this is, I know how high this is from what I'm told. But I want to see if it's, how far it's cleared. And I don't, I know I wouldn't try it with these clip-on shoes. I'm just not stable on these things. I'm too panicky because I fell too many times. <laughs> And once you, you know, you can't stop without being unclipped or you're done. Oh, cool butterfly. I'm like a little kid, I guess. <laughs> See something to distract me. You can see the water over there from the dam. I just turn and look back down. It doesn't give the scope of the height here with the camera. I don't know how long this is, but I don't want to spend all day here, so I'm not going to walk all the way. But it is paved anyway. If a guy's in good shape, he would probably ride a bike up here. I say a guy in good shape, not me. I may put my other pedals back on, flat pedals and regular shoes, and give it a shot. But I kind of doubt it. In fact, this is about as far as I'm going to walk. As you can see, it's going up higher and higher. Yeah. Like I said, I know I can't make that. Might be able to get to here where I walk to. Then again, I might not. Hope I don't see any snakes here. Try to stay away from the edges because snakes, I worry about snakes. I shouldn't say I worry about them, but I'm scared of them and I see enough of them on the road when I ride sometimes they're smashed by cars and sometimes they're crossing the road and this uh, the blacktop there where I just got off of on my bike this is gated off so there's no cars up here You see people on bicycles and joggers and walkers, dogs, you see dogs everywhere. Maybe you can see the mountain. I mean, that's just part of it. Maybe when I get down to back down to my bike, I can point it up. Maybe you can get an idea how high it is, I don't know. Very good view here, very nice place to ride a bike. But you gotta ride roads to get here. I 
Now my knees hurt and I didn't even ride up there, I just walked. Uh, you really can't get a good perspective of the mountain. But that's where I came from and that's where I'm going. So back on the bike. This is one of this is a, another normal stop here on this route. Um, normally stop down there at the end of the road. The P spot back there. But anyways, I didn't intend to make a video here today, but once I started and I figured, well, why not show people where I ride? It's really nice scenery, really nice ride when, especially when it's good weather. I've ridden down across that bridge already and started to go up the other side, but it's really high. I got little ways and then it, it's only paved for a short time. So I rode up to where the pavement ends, but it, it, even that was tough. I was huffing and puffing. But it's a real good view, like I said. Over there, way off in the distance is the Doisaket Temple that I usually climb. I don't think it'll show today. It's not real clear. You might be able to make it out. I can just see the top of the dome, the white dome, on top of the mountain. So anyway, I'm going to put the camera back and get back on my bike. Maybe I'll add to this, maybe I won't. Anyway, I have, like I said, I haven't made a video for so long, and at least now maybe people can see where I go riding.